In the heart of Mississippi, a tornado unleashed its wrath. It has been an extremely active, very dangerous past several hours. Leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The damage seen across Winona, the storm moved through the southern portion of the town, some homes taking a direct hit. Amidst the chaos, one man faced the devastating loss of everything he held dear. It picked that house up, moved it about four feet south, about four feet east. And I tried to get out, but I couldn't. Every door in the house was jammed. The home was gone, and remnants of a life well lived lay in tatters. That uh, one room was uh, where I was born, was built before the Civil War. 90-year-old Robert Pyron, a proud veteran, had seen it all serving his country, witnessing wars and triumphs. But this tornado had stripped him of his memories and left him shattered. But from the depths of despair, a ray of hope emerged. Purple Heart Homes, an organization dedicated to helping veterans like Robert, stepped in. Purple Heart Homes engaged many people to help, from those who made the project financially possible. This project was funded a dollar at a time. The community came together to make this happen. To the team who made the trip across four states to deliver Robert's home. Purple Heart Homes volunteers constructed a tiny home designed explicitly for Robert's needs. They poured their hearts into creating a haven for the resilient veteran. Purple Heart Homes delivered more than just a house. They provided a new beginning, a fresh chapter in Robert's life. Robert has a newfound sense of independence and pride as he received the keys to his new home. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Robert. We love you and respect you. I got a lot of respect for Purple Heart. No longer defined by loss, Robert embraces the freedom of this small yet mighty home, a testament to his unwavering spirit and the team of volunteers who found purpose in helping our nation's heroes. Purple Heart Homes, restoring dignity, hope, and a place to call home for our nation's veterans.